Morning world, it's 8am on the 15th of March 2013 and this is perhaps a brief two minute guide to the art of uh, forecasting, not prediction, forecasting. What you can forecast using astrology is timings and areas of life where those timings are likely to be influential. You cannot predict events and anyone who can is either mad or genuinely psychic and there's precious few of each. Transits. Transits are the actual movements of the planets in the heavens. The transit of a planet to one position in the sky, which then making an angular relationship with a planet in your horoscope. Through the laws of cause and effect, transits manifest as circumstances and events in your day by day and year by year life. The outer planets the ones that move very slowly, they govern the large scale, the long-term developments and events, the year-by-year -year stuff. Things like Jupiter and Saturn, the transits of these, will govern the influences at the month-by-month, -month, whereas the transits of the closer planets, such as Mars or Mercury or the new and full moons, these will have a much more day-by-day -day and week-by-week -week influence. Transits don't make things happen. But what they do is they alter the percentages slightly, 1% to 2%, either to your favour or your detriment. And if you can use this, if you're knowledgeable about this, that 1% to 2% will give you the edge and it will tip you towards the thing you're trying to do. Or if you're sensible at times, you'll know when to go, I'm going to back off here and step back. Transits manifest as circumstances and events in one's life. Progressions are different. Progressions work on the system that the planet's positions, I don't know, 27 and a half days after you're born relate to the 27th and a half year of life. It works for one day of, of, of life equals one year of life. So the planet positions 90 days after you're born relate to your 90th year of life. And track progressions don't work in terms of manifest physical material experience. Instead, progressions work in terms of what I call the growth of the soul from within. It is about internal self-development. I think that most humans are too damn insensitive to pick up the feelings of most progressions, which is why I only use the progress sun, which deals with ongoing identity issues and changes of identity over a period of years, and the progressed moon, which deals with the month-by-month -month emotional state within. Transits deal with without. Progressions deal with within. There you go. Three-minute guide on the how to um, forecast using astrology. Catch you later. Bye.